Second in the league in rebounding at 14 and a half a game. Leads the league in field goal percentage at about 69% for the floor. He's on a stretch right now, 20 straight games of double-digit rebounds. There are many, many numbers of note, and that's why he's going to the All-Star game this weekend. Happy for him as far as the All-Star is concerned. You know, he really got emotional last year when he did. Maybe he found out he wasn't on the team. But, uh, you know, in a league where it's hard to get this thing started. Big night coming from Tim Hardaway Jr. after we just saw that three. Papa Bear is in the house tonight at American Airlines Center, and when that happens, usually good things happen in terms of big nights for Tim. You go at him, you better go hard. You better go to attack, go to his body, because once he gets you where he wants, he's easy to finish that time from Ingles. But the other thing that helps a guy like that, Mark, is system. And I think Utah is a good system for him. Hardaway Jr. had this tonight. Your little prediction. <laughs> Donovan Mitchell. Oh. Mm. Through contact, able to finish against Finney Smith. Sixth in points allowed, 107 per game. And from behind, Finney Smith disrupts what looked like that was going to be a Gobert flush on the alley-oop. And it's Hardaway on two blow eyes. And then going with the reverse for the score. Yeah, 30 last night in Houston. They have left this jump shot there. Mitchell for three. And when he came, and, and you got Conley out tonight, so he's resting as Bogdanovich got it to go. That was real slick there underneath Perzingis. These guys didn't play heavy minutes. You're right. Clarkson and O'Neal last night were the only guys with significant minutes on the bench as Gobert scores inside and is fouled. He is such a presence inside. He has good hands. Big stretch of the year that Porzingis hovered right around 70%. A little less, a little more over long stretches. But Bogdanovich once again going at the defense on the drive. When you can do both, when you can shoot it like he shoots it and put it on the deck, that's a, that's a double threat. Nice finish. From the three-point line by KP that time. Number one, one. In the league, almost 39%. Yep. Little pass inside, and O'Neal got it over the defense to those hands up top of Gobert. 34 and 18 this year. For three, four seconds. Yes, sir. Instead, it is Jingles with the ball against Dorian Finney-Smith. To the corner to Clarkson. Oye up top for three. It was a bad situation in New York last year, but he did put up the best numbers of his career, and he's turned that into being a usable player with Utah. Need to bore a spark. Lob inside, Kyle Stein and dribble to gather himself after the catch and up for the slam. To Clarkson and Clarkson is on yeah. a tear yes, again. He is. He's uh he's confident. You, you you can tell he's a different kind of player over the last couple of games. He's really been lighted up. Good find by Moran. Two team fouls in the quarter. JJ cross court pass. And calling Stein again. Sometimes it's to have one good game scoring. He attacked the pass, which was just up there for grabs. He, when it got the pass. Had three points last night against Houston, I think. Yep. Decided, since he hadn't been shooting the ball well lately, decided just to not shoot it. Yep. Last night, only took two shots yep. in 33 minutes, making one of them. Rebound by Gobert after Clarkson's miss. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Ingles with a shot. Benny Smith got held up in a big Rudy Gobert screen. Lead the league in drives yep. per game. They drive it 57 times per game. According to second spectrum player tracking data. They move the ball around, and Royce O'Neal, an open three that rattles in. But you do see the value of Porzingis and how uncomfortable Gobert looks. Yeah, yeah. He certainly looks comfortable there, though. That is his game. Got that right, Marcus. Utah hit first early in that first quarter. Had to look back second. Another three-pointer for the best three-point shooting team in the league. He mixes up that three so well. Here's a drive by Donovan Mitchell. All the way forced him into a tough shot, and he still made it. Okay. Something, they got to liven up things somehow. They are looking at a 20-point deficit. It's about to go. Oh! Uh. Go Bear. Man. His presence inside. In the paint for the Zingas. Donovan is helpless. 
I believe it was to a question that Skin asked before the game. Rick said as far as being defensive player of the year, and Gobert has won it the last two years, he said he's going to be really difficult to dethrone again this year. Ryan Hardaway playing Hardaway. 6-1 Dallas to start out the third quarter. I like Mitchell. that ratio. Yeah, Mitchell in the paint. Porzingis on the turnaround shot. 10-3 Dallas to open up the third quarter. Just him, Mark. Utah shooting the ball well. 61%. Answer by Hardaway. Timeout. Shooting 50% for the floor and 43% on threes in that time frame. As Gobert goes upstairs. Brunson rises for a jumper. That's good. Back-to-back -back hits by Jalen. Marks it up on Seth Curry. We have ourselves a possession for Dallas to make this a single-digit deficit. And they do! Game on. Porzingis up top of three points. Gotta give the Mavericks a lot of credit. Weaving. Mitchell pulling up. Hitting. Game possession. Around Curry. And then they lost it. Courtney Lee, great sag. And here's Hardaway! Crying for, you finally get a defensive stop. The Mavericks out in the open court, Hardaway Jr. with the flush. And here's a Chevy game break. Mitchell in the paint. And right to the deflection, and he comes away with a loose ball. Yeah, Mitchell's been losing his feet here lately. Jumping up in the air. Yeah, active hands by the Mavs. Hardaway again! Side against Gobert. Won't go. Moutier just went into the game for Utah. And Moutier with a head of steam all the way to the basket. Got to get back. Two empty possessions in a row for Dallas. Here's Clarkson for three. And good. And Utah has scored six straight points now. And here's something for Hardaway. Driving. And it goes in. Good back there that high. And it's a bang bang play. Got to go to the hot guy. Why not? Timmy has been fired up. Oh, oh man. Odier, what a finish and a foul call as well. Odier. Good defense. Yep. Like he was thinking step back. He rifled a pass over to Jordan Clarkson. He drives, spins, and scores. Shane, there's no doubt the biggest weakness Utah had yeah. was bench offense. No question. And they have fixed that. And there is a hard rolling Tony Bradley upstairs for the jam. Running the floor. Three heads turned on defense. That's unfortunate. 104 91 Utah. Nine minutes left of the game. Clarkson with a drive. Loves to come back to his right when yes, he drives he like that, doesn't he? Question moving towards the playoff and moving towards the spring. Have you done a deep dive on that Wizards number by any chance? I have not as Finney Smith knocks down a three. I don't have any more timeouts, so they're just going to have to play. Nice drive. And finish. JJ. Opportunity for Porzingis by Don Perimeter. Now a drive by Don By Porzingis. Erased. Left for Hardaway by Berea for three. And good. Eagles with the ball. Five on the shot clock. Exact switch from earlier. Bogdanovich shooting over Curry. Ooh, big hit. Three pointer. Boy on Bogdanovich. And Seth Curry for three. He wanted that shot when the ball was on the opposite side and he was open. He knew if he got it, he was going to let it fly. Hang on now. 119, 114. Mitchell leaves it for a cutting go there. Oh, he spins and slams. Wow. Bear spinning and winning on the inside with the monster dunk. But they have a chance for a miracle. Still much work to do, but they got Utah with his possession all the way down to the end, but Mitchell hits. I said earlier, they play some good teams. And one with 12 seconds left. Bogdanovich will dribble out the action.